What's up dear insiders and welcome back for another official finally the movie review of Beetlejuice. Let's dive in in this movie review as I watched Beetlejuice which it will contain spoilers so if you don't did not watch Beetlejuice don't watch this review as it contains spoilers and if you want watch it at your own risk. So basically Hollywood has a history of bringing long dead films back to life with long overdue sequels so maybe yes it was only a matter of time until someone dug into the grave marked Beetlejuice and that someone obviously is Tim Burton which is the director of the origin 1988 movie Beetlejuice. Although he claimed to have discussed a Beetlejuice sequel for decades Burton insisted that he would only entertain the idea if Michael Keaton returned to the title role and the sequel maintained the spirit of the bizarrely bizarre original movie. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice um, wins on these two fronts in the role of the mischievous demon bio exorcist and apparently insane Keaton crawls around the movie like a gigantic cockroach in a striped outfit and every overly slice frame in the follow-up shows the turning DNA of the first picture. Similar to the first movie, the soundtrack features humorous quips and accounted important scenes along with more spectacular dancing scenes it has similar feats to the original movie. These essential elements made it simple to become engrossed in the narrative and also experience the character station, in particular Sam Consistives. Nonetheless, the film includes a number of noteworthy revelations that explain what transpired in the years between Beetlejuice 1 of the conclusion and the events of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. So basically, from those, like there are what we see uh, from Charles, what happens to Charles, yes, Charles died from the, a shark attack, while the initial teaser trailer for the sequel confirmed Jeffrey Joe's character is dead, Peter Juice Peter Juice goes into a great detail about Charles Teeth's death quite early in the film. Basically, uh, while Charles is traveling to South America to see birds, his plane crashes into the water. Charles, yes, escapes the crash, but when attempting to join the other survivors on the derbies, he is eaten and swallowed by a shark. According to the stop motion reconstruction of the incident. The Deeds women then get back together after his passing and travel back to the winter rival for his funeral. We also see that Lydia is a celebrity in a talk show. Even when Lydia had an interest in photography as a teenager, it doesn't appear that she has ever pursued her hobby professionally. By the time Ryder's character appears in Peter Juice, Peter Juice, Lydia is hosting Ghost House, which is a discussion show about the funeral. Lydia also conducts live audience interviews for the program, which Rory produces and is closely involved in while interviewing people who are haunted. Although Lydia continued use of her abilities to speak with the dead is not shocking, Astrid also is not a big fan of her mother's choice of profession. Delia, we see Delia that opened an art studio. Yes, some of the funniest parts of the first film where Delia's bizarre artwork and sculptures and similar components which are deservedly included in the follow-up. Bitterjuice Bitterjuice reveals that Delia created an art studio in New York City proving that she never gave up on her artistic goals. There are more works of Delia's art on the show in the studio including some strangely gorgeous one. Several of Delia's sculptures are also on the exhibit on the campus ground of Astrid's school. We saw also Rory. Rory entered into Lydia's life after Richard ultimately dead. Lydia went to a grieving retreat to work through things. She met Rory there who told her he had lost his wife in a skiing accident. Before Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, Rory and Lydia had a romantic relationship that was substantial enough for him to be involved in every aspect of her life, which it also takes Lydia some time to realize the reality even though Astrid and Delia can plainly see through Rory's fault. What happens to Beetlejuice? Bitterjuice now has a new job in the afterlife as we saw in the first film. Bitterjuice worked as a freelance bioexorcist, among other things, but he was also rumored to have a civil servant for you know for a while. Following the events of Bitterjuice Bitterjuice, Keaton's character is revealed to be the afterlife call manager in the Nader world, indicating that despite his problems in the first film, he managed to land a legitimate job there. The fact that there is a call center demonstrates just how much has changed since 1998 because it enables ghosts to communicate with the hereafter without physically being there. We also see Jeremy, a new boy, um, in Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, we are introduced to Jeremy, played by Arthur Conti, which is a winter river kid who captures Astrid's attention 
although us risk technically forced into Jeremy's yard before they soon become friends and also the relationship takes a sinister turn on the Halloween night. It emerges that Jeremy more than two decades prior the defense of Peter Drews. Peter Drews is a spirit trapped in his winter river house with his parents. After revealing his true identity as a ghost, he persuades Astrid to go with him to the afterlife. Sadly, yes, Astrid doesn't find out the truth and Jeremy until he betrays her confidence. Lydia discovers in the meantime that after Jeremy killed his parents, he fell from his treehouse and died when the police caught up with him. The Winter River property came to be known as the murder house throughout the decades he and his parents were confined there. We also see Richard. Uh, what happened to Richard? Richard uh, died while he was in South Africa. It was established prior to the publication of Peter Drews, Peter Drews, that Lydia's husband and also Astrid's father passed away. In Peter Drews, Peter Drews, when Astrid tells the tale of her dad's boating tragedy while on vacation in Brazil, it becomes clear what happened to Richard. Richard's final appearance in the film as an employee in the afterlife indicates that he was attacked by piranhas following the terrible event. Although the precise date of Richard's death is unknown, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice provides evidence that Lydia and Astrid's father marriage was practically finished at the time of his pass. The bond between Lydia and Astrid was harmed by the fractured family and Astrid's animosity over Lydia's inability to use her skills also to speak with Richard's ghost. Fortunately, the family finds some closure with the trio's reunion in the afterlife. In the original film, Beetlejuice played the bad role, he was the villain, but now Monica Bellucci, a soul tracker with the ability to slay the dead, is in charge and she wants Beetlejuice, her ex. The Beetlejuice song, Tragedy, Tragedy, mm, 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 Tragedy, yes, serves a superb introduction to Bellucci's amazing Frankenstein design. Yes, I'm afraid to say that Bellucci is completely wasted in this film, despite the fact that she gives a wonderful performance somewhere. She and the other villains have no purpose, and Berlucci one wa walks throughout the movie the majority of the film. Um, um, that that was her work in the film, ninety nine percent walking in the movie. So that's why I think she was wasted. Uh, through Harry Sambrook's cinematography, makes it intriguing to watch. She looks freaking wonderful doing it, and that's all she does till the climax. Even yet, it seems unbelievably how hurriedly she appears. In the last scene. Yes, people were disappointed from this one, and also I was disappointed, felt a little bit emotional. I think people also felt emotional. Yes, I'm talking about the death of our beloved Bob. Yes, regretfully, Bob perishes, perishes in Peter Juice. Peter Juice, having had Dolores' soul drained out of him during her attack on the office. For instance, it almost appears as if Bob is going to say something before passing away, but he isn't given the chance. Once again, he meets his demise, bringing Peter Drew's right hand man to an ultimate death. This is possibly the most heartbreaking death in Peter Drew's Peter Drew's, considering how fast the viewers as people became accustomed to the shrunking headed zombie. Though it's a terrible blow, at least he receives a unique and well earned acknowledge of respect during the closing credits. Using Beetlejuice as Beetlejuice continues to bring in enormous sums of money, Tim Burton, yes, have been talking about the possibility of a third Beetlejuice movie, producer Tom Harper and the creative film wizard behind classics like Edward Scissorhand had a conversation, but their opinions of Beetlejuice were clearly divided, Burton was more against the idea, but Harper quickly noted that anything could happen in true produce film. Burton refrains from promoting himself, saying, I'm not sure when questioned about a potential sequel, she said. That what would make me sound like William Casting or something. William Casting is the, this person that uh, literally um, does a lot of sequels. And yes, Tim Burton said that uh, he may be 100 and he doesn't have that body to do Beetlejuice 3. So basically, I don't think that Beetlejuice 3 will happen. Um, um yes it it finished like like that quite strange but yes i understand the plot um as a rate of the movie i rate it um uh, as a rate of the movie i rate it like an 8 out of 10 it was good um uh, but yes it was good 
it was like 1 hour 44 minutes long i just finished it watching it right now um, uh, and yes that's all for today guys thank you for watching this movie review i hope that you enjoyed all the reviews the trailer reactions the trailer reviews and now this Beetlejuice juice movie review finally we are ready the lineup was done and dusted and yes that was my original movie of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice juice movie review thank you guys as i said i rated 10 out of 10 and stay tuned for another youtube reviews or trailer reactions or trailer reviews or movie reviews thank you and have the rest of the day a good day good night guys and bye bye insiders bye bye